Dr. Joe Mills, Professor of Surgery and Chief of the Division of Vascular Surgery and Endovascular Therapy at Baylor College of Medicine. Vascular surgery, by definition, encompasses treatment and diagnosis of all the blood vessels in the body, except those in the brain itself and immediately attached to the heart. So the most common thing I see in vascular surgery is a patient who comes in with diabetes, and diabetes affects the blood supply to your legs and also affects the nerves to your legs. Diabetic patients lose the protective sensation they have and they get a foot sore. That foot sore then leads to infection, and if there's no blood supply to the foot or, or poor blood supply to the foot, that patient can lose their leg. The quality of life issue, if you're starting to have trouble when you walk, so the concerns are two, is this gonna get worse? Right now it's not keeping me from doing anything I wanna do, but I'm worried that in six months or a year I'm gonna not be able to run with my grandkids, or I'm not gonna be able to play golf, or I'm not gonna be able to fish. But what you sometimes find is the patient has other medical issues, so as we live longer, unless you're really lucky, you start to get medical problems. So you might have some limitations in your ability to function because of your leg, but you also might get short of breath or have chest pain from heart disease. So if you treat a patient's leg like that and their limiting factor is something else, you're not gonna help them a lot. So we try to focus on how much that vascular disease in their leg is really impacting their life. And if it's impacting it significantly, we can help a lot of those patients. But what we're really trying to do is try to get to patients a little bit sooner so we can meet them in clinic because some patients show up in the hospital with a problem they've had for a while that got worse and then what they have becomes an emergency. So we try to teach patients that they're partly responsible for their own care, but we're there to help them. So we try to identify the triggers in their environment that might cause them problems in the future. So if you get the foot healed, that's a victory. But if the patient gets another foot sore because their alarm system still doesn't work, then you have to treat them again. So there's, there's, there's preventive devices as far as measuring how much pressure they put on their foot when they walk, what kind of shoes they wear, how frequent their activity is that can be monitored and um, altered to try to give those patients the best quality of life that you can. I'm Dr. Joe Mills, Professor of Surgery and Chief of the Division of Vascular Surgery and Endovascular Therapy, and I look forward to seeing you at Baylor College of Medicine.